people and welcome back to another PS3 custom firmware video and today this is going to be how to keep your PS3 from overheating or freezing. So I found that this is the best method for it. So a lot of the freezing problems tends to go towards it becoming too hot and then uh, the PS3 just decides to not want to work anymore. But anyway, um, the first thing you want to download is uh, control fan utility and then you want to put it on your USB then go to package manager install package files standard and then once my USB reads it is a very very old USB and there you go it will be that one and then you just install it so I've already got it installed and it is like that so you want to launch the program so you want to do this before you do anything else so um, but any changes in which you do, it will not uh, keep like permanently. So um, at the moment, I'm on payload uh, mode, which means that it will just keep on going. Um, and then if it gets too hot, then it will recognize it, and then it will increase the speed. But if we press square once, then it will change it onto um, just a really, really high fan speed. But then if we change it to 2, as you can see, um, it says speed 0x55. So now we can use the D-pad up and down to change the speed. So the normal speed I put it on, which I won't actually because, well, it might pick up on the microphone. My microphone is very sensitive to uh, my PS3 fans and that. But I normally put it on 0x70 or around there. Um, I wouldn't advise going up to about 80 because, well, it's very, very loud and also you run the risk of burning out the motors inside of your fans, which you don't want to do because then, of course, you've got another thing to fix if anything else is broken. So, but once you have set the speed, you then want to press triangle to exit and then now keep it on that mode for the rest of that session. So, um, the way in which you then reset it uh, which um, it will go back to the normal speed is to just turn off your console, turn it back on there you go, problem sorted um, so yeah it's very very useful, the only downside to it is that I couldn't find a version um, which was similar to a video I watched about a year ago now um, which allowed you to save it, like save the profile so that you only had to launch the application then quit immediately um, instead of having to manually adjust the speed every single time you turn uh, off and on your PS3. So, but anyway, I hope this has helped anyone who has had any problems similar to mine. Um, if there's any uh, questions and whatnot, just feel free to comment them down below. And I shall see you in the next video.